When you see that field of blue, you know it can be only one place in the world. Boise, Idaho, on the campus of Boise State and home to the fabled giant killers, the Boise State Broncos. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the San Diego State Aztecs taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Broncos will put total weather to crank us up. Here he comes with the return. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Aztecs offense is on the field for the first time today. And all eyes on this man as he takes the field. The defense knows they're going to try to throw him the football, and it probably won't matter, guys. Oh, but the defense, Reese, will be locked in. He will see double coverage. They will know where he's at. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. So just how aggressive can they afford to be as they snap it on second and long from the 13? The give to the tailback. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. And guys, this third and long is not exactly how they drew it up. Hopefully it's not an indication of what we'll see the rest of the game. He uncorks one deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. All kinds of running room. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Aztecs! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they could not have finished with more style. An 87-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Boise State Broncos offense has the ball for the first time. And what a great matchup we have of two highly productive runners, David. And I like the competition aspect of this, Reese. Like, I'm watching what you're doing on the other side, and I'm going to prove I'm a better running back than you. Both these guys are looking to be the man today. And both guys can go the distance, right? These two running backs seem to get better as the game goes on. So which defense can be more physical, step up, and at least slow the other guy down? Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for room, it's Genty. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Just a simple power play, power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game, make them feel you, keep them off balance. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. The Broncos get it past the sticks. That is how it's done on third down and short. No doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. 
If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. And the Broncos come to the line with a new set of downs. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. He'll get rid of it. It's complete. At the 40, there he goes. A massive pickup on that one, and they're in business at the 21. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The Broncos come to the line in the hurry up. On first and goal, they have a chance to answer with a score of their own. Looking to throw. Makes the grab. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Broncos. He didn't see anyone open. He said, no problem. I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, I've been there before. Been there, done that. Not my first rodeo. I've been in this kind of situation. Down by the goal line, I'm getting outside, and I'm taking it in myself. Lining up to add another. Smashes it through for the PAT. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. He'll start this drive firing. And the shot to the middle of the field falls to the turf. It's second down. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Ooh, he's never a doubt. You kidding me? He had a, a two-yard push in there. Like, he knew exactly where he was on the field, trying to throw the ball down the field to create some space, right, to make it easier for your play caller. Quarterback gets sacked, but thank goodness it wasn't a safety.
The Aztecs will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. How about the job and recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he caught the ball. All wide outs, no bats. On second down, looking again to throw. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Boise State! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Chris, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Kickoff team has the ball teed up in there, about ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He'll do it himself. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. And the Aztecs in the hurry up. On third and short, the power run here. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The Aztecs will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Quick strike complete. Early in the game as a DB, I'm settling in. It, it, it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Looking downfield, it's O'Neal. A strike downfield. Got a lot of running room. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego State. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch.
PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He finds his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Well, it's a great job by the receiver fighting back across the DB there to get to the inside, locate the ball, and catch the slant. Let's see what they've got on second down. Using his legs, it's Genty. And the Broncos get it past the sticks. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it. Now on first down from the 30. They'll ride the hot hand. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. The give to the back. Makes his man miss. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Broncos are moving quickly down the field. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Broncos want to move quickly. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Gates. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They've gotten this thing up and running fast. Back and forth. We're inside a minute to play in the first. He's looking to throw it. Got his man quickly. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger gain. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. The Broncos are in the red zone. On second down, wants to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect them to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Now they'll run the draw. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats.
They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Splits the uprights, it's good. And now they take the lead. Ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. And the Aztecs moving quickly to the line. To the air, it's O'Neal. He finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Man, how about the first half this guy's having? He already has two touchdowns, picks up a huge first down right here. On defense, you're going to have to find a way to control this guy. You're going to have to make some big-time adjustments at halftime. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built the lead. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. It's a draw. Good job running top and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And oftentimes, running backs love draw plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback's selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires one high and deep. Snags it! Run out of bounds just before he could get it into the end zone, and now they're set up first and goal. And that's what makes this offense so dangerous. They've got playmakers all over the field. Here they are on their own side of the 50, third and long on any given play. They can take it the distance they do right there. Not just moving the chains, but setting themselves up now first and goal. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Aztecs! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. Number 46, set to kickoff. He'll bring it out. It's Genty. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. 
Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. And the Broncos headed quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Connection to the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. When you run the football and then throw in the play action, it's such a tricky thing for the defense. Do I play run? Do I come up fast? It opens those holes right behind the linebackers and between the safeties to make the passing game just a little bit easier. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. On the run, it's Genty. And more yards after contact. He smashes his way through again. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football, create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it right now. He's doing some damage on this defense. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. They'll run play action. Try fires deep toward the end zone. And the ball is intercepted. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense because you don't have hands? Yeah, I think the difference. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. It's first and 10 from the 31. Looking to throw, it's O'Neal. Makes the grab down the middle. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. The Aztecs are in the hurry up. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires left. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Aztecs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking for room, it's Cooper. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Pulled down after a pickup of six, but he gets it inside the red zone. It's down at the 15.
Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Pulled down after a pickup of three balls at the 13. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the ground to try to move the chains. Tackled after picking up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Drag down at the six after a pickup of two. Game two. It's now second. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They've got him looking run, but they're going to throw it. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, San Diego State. And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. He's got his man. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I gotta hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He wants to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Genty. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on you. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. The Broncos want to crank the tempo. The aerial assault continues. Moving out of the pocket. This time, they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. 
Offense in an empty set. Looking to throw on second down. It's caught. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. He's looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. And the Broncos have it in scoring position on first and goal. He's looking to pass. He's got it. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now it's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Buying some time. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Broncos! That's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing, I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they close it to a 28-24 game. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. They'll run it from the gun. One step, wrap, two step, squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. No tricks here. Looks as if they'll just run it out and take that lead into halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Boise for a fun first half than you? Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one, thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Albertson Stadium. The Aztecs 
Knicks will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Oh, man, what a missed opportunity. Big fella almost got to run with the ball. Instead, it falls incomplete and brings up second down. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. They go to the ground. Quick spin on the run. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. This running back just don't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent do the rest. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Broncos will snap it on first and ten. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Feeling some heat. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. On the ground, it's Cooper. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. And the Aztecs will hustle to the line. He'll keep it himself. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's O'Neal. Throws to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The Aztecs line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fields the punt, wants to make a play. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. 
unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. On the run, it's Genty. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. They'll try to power their way ahead. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It is perfect. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it out. It's Sutton. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And the Aztecs want to pick up the tempo. Wants to throw. It's O'Neal. Going to take a shot. Snags it on the right. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Buys a little extra time. Nice job of avoiding the sack and picking up a few on the run. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Now on second down. Trying play action. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that one is picked up in the end zone. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. 
We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Grab behind the line. It's Genty. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. That is exactly why they call the running back the safety valve. They used it, and they used it to perfection. Yeah, and you want to push the ball down the field. You want to make those big plays, but you see the defense. They bring the blitz. I got the running back open. Dump it to him. Let him do the rest. Let him get the first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds a tight end. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. They say tight ends are a quarterback's best friend in the pass game because think about it. The tight end's the guy lined up closest to the quarterback, which means generally those are the easiest throws a quarterback has. You saw it on that play. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. They're going back to the ground. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads can call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Hand off to the lone back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it quickly to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. They go to the draw. Oh, he got loose! They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. And yeah, you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Off the play fake on first down. Zings it complete to the right. He's brought down quickly. Minimal game there. Still a bit short of the first down. They get a nice pickup on this crossing route against the zone, and everybody executed in unison, Jesse. Yeah, and Reese, this offense, they've got a plan in the passing game. They've got some stuff ready for man coverage, and they've got some zone beaters as well. You just saw one there on the crossing route. Looking to throw on second down. The short hands. It's Genty. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. Man, you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving a ball out of the backfield. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. 
He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Keeping it on the ground on third and goal. Touchdown, Broncos! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. Getting aggressive here and going for two. They'll go to the air. Coming after it. Looking to convert the two, and he will not. The defense gets to him with the sack. That keeps the score. Boise State, 33. San Diego State, 28. About to kick it off Number after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. The Aztecs racing to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. And those will see who see who see who see who see So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After the setback, the offense gets set for a first and 15. Give to the running back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. He's got it again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man, that D tackle's a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The play action fake. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete on third down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? And the Aztecs will bring the punt team onto the field. Wants to bring it back. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Line gets set, first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the ball comes out, what a disastrous play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere, it's a turnover. Man, I, I can't do that here, right? I got the football. I got the lead, the clock is my friend, and now I cough it up. Offense 
have to understand the situation, have to understand I got to get to the ground. I can make sure I don't fight for extra yards. I make sure I don't fumble, costly fumble. Guys, we're about to get another look at this San Diego State offense. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Well, he was able to gash him on that play. You just give this guy one inch, one little crease. He puts his foot in the ground, and he gets north fast. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. With the run on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Dropping back, it's O'Neal. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Up by one, they're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead. He's looking to throw. And he makes the catch. It's a deuce. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They want to run it left here. Fighting off the defender. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20, a pickup of five. Defense, man, you got to go low, and you got to chop that tree down, right? Go with the legs, take the legs out from underneath them so he can't continue to churn those puppies out and get extra yards after contact like he did there. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Out of the gun to give to the back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. It's just so nice to know you can start off on the first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, running back gets to give. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. When they pick up the first down there on the screen, I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down.
They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And I think this offense ran the football knowing it's in fourth down territory. It's fourth and short. It's go time. Almost near midfield. To me, this is green light. I got to stay aggressive. I'm losing, but the situation favors me in fourth and short. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Fellas, we have a high ball game here in the fourth. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. San Diego State takes over as the offense is ready to go to work. From the gun, the ground game. At the 35, he's got room. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Aztecs come to the line in the hurry up. They'll give it to the back. He's at the 24 yard line. Brings up second down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's O'Neal. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Balls at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. To the ground with the back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game could end. Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they regain the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all of the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. 
They'll try the run. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Right back to it. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Well, they want to come in and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Normally, I would say fourth and short on your own side of the field, you punt the ball away, but we're in the fourth quarter, and they need to keep this drive going to win. I say go for it. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Gets away from what? And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. I know the analytics tell me to be aggressive and go for it, but in the second half, in these ball games, the analytics don't work for every single situation. And right now, you've set them up. I just hope this one doesn't come back to bite you right in the hiney. The Aztecs offense ready to go back to work. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run off the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Man, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Got it behind the line. It's Wolf. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. And that's why QBs love their tight end so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets down. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, San Diego State. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Set to kick this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time. It put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. He wants to pass it on second down. 
finds his big tight end. Dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The offense gets a quick timeout. At this point, every second is precious. Trying to convert this second and short. He's looking to throw. He's got it down the middle. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. It's incomplete. It leads to second down. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail. And that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. The throw falls incomplete. It's second down. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Misses again. It's incomplete, and that's three in a row. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Number nice execution by this defense. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Oh, and the attempt is no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. Boise State, 36. Guys, let's see what adjustments this San Diego State offense has made this time. Okay, you have a two-score advantage here, so while you want to be aggressive, David, don't hand them a cheap. Dang right. I'm not being reckless. I, I can still be aggressive, but a punt is not the worst thing, Jesse, in this situation in the fourth quarter. You're right, David. You don't want to be reckless. So as a play caller here, let's dial up some things you know your quarterback sees well in the passing game. 